and welcome to my first ever um, hairstyle web video. I've done a lot of different hairstyle um, how-tos on DeviantArt, but I've always thought it would be a lot easier um, to just explain it and uh, instead of trying to write the whole how-to in just writing. It's sometimes difficult for people to understand even with pictures. So I thought I'd start with Cinderella because I have a princess tea party this weekend. It's a show and uh, I want to I wanna be able to show Cinderella how to do her hair. So you can see I've already gotten started by sectioning off some bangs, um, and they're already curled because I had to test to make sure I could do this. So you just need to section off a little bit in the front, just a nice, you know, it's a, it's a pretty thick section. Um, or if you already have bangs, then don't even worry about it. The rest of your hair, you need to brush over to one side. So I'm just gonna brush, make that all nice and neat. Feel free to envision that I'm a beautiful blonde during this video. Once you've got it all over to one side, you're going to need to take some pins. Big pins are better, or grips. Um, I don't really have any of those on hand, so I'm just going to use the best ones I've got. And you want to just Place those right up the middle because they're going to be your structure once you start to do the actual French twist. So for nice, nice thick hair like mine, really heavy hair, you really need to go all the way up with the bobby pins. So make a couple of little crosses right in the center of your head. I'm going to tuck this bit away. Nice and firm. Okay. Then the rest of your hair, you then need to brush from the other side, and we're going to start to do the twist. So just smooth it all. Put one hand under to hold it. Just kind of fold it over. And twist as you pull it up. That's your French twist right there. So you've got it nice and twisted, and then you just need to tuck and secure the rest of your hair into the center. But leave, unlike a, unlike a regular French twist, make sure you leave all your ends right up top because we're going to use those. And everything else gets secured. And you do that just by taking pins and getting pieces of the twist and just tucking them into the center. Once you've got that twist, get your bangs out of your way. Now you have a couple options. You can either curl these in kind of like Betty Grable effect, just do lots of little curls. You can um, get some hair extensions, or you can do the really Disney one and make these little hair rolls. Now if your hair is longer, they're going to look even better, but unfortunately mine's a little too short. So you just roll the hair over and fasten it with a pin. Get some hair, roll it over, and fasten it with a pin. Make sure you're crossing, so you do two pins in each roll, so that they will stay nice and secure. And you do want to make sure you get them into some of the hair on the top of your head so they um, don't move a lot. So I 
as you can see, you know, the longer of hair you have, the bigger these rolls will be and the nicer and prettier. And if you hairspray them or if you curl them, you can get a really nice curl. But we're just going to do quick and dirty. Got some loose bits, so we're just going to make sure to secure those. All right, on to the bangs. You want to have a hot cur curler, and you're just going to curl, go from the middle, kind of curl that up. You might need to do each side separately. It's fine, just curl it up. As you can see, I've already curled the longer ends, so if you have longer pieces, curl those. We're going to start with one side. And tuck the long hair up in there. All the long hair. I'm just gonna make a little roll. Make sure it's nice and smooth. And that all the long ends are hidden. Take a bobby pin, secure the roll. And once it's got a pin in it, take another pin and lock it on to your, the rest of your hair. I'm going to take the other side and do the same thing. Tuck up the long bits and roll the rest. I'm just doing this really quick. But if you take your time, you can make really nice, smooth rolls, which is what you want. See, I've really made kind of a mess, but I promise, if you take your time, do it neat, it'll look great. So you just kind of secure the ends down as you go. Try to hide the pins as best you can. You can make the rolls tighter by grabbing wherever the, the pin is, just rolling it a little bit more. So that's not bad, but yeah, you can make that a lot smoother and kind of frame your face. You can make them bigger, whatever you need, but then you got it done. And all you need to do to set that off, add a headband and your ball gown and you're finished. <laughs>